We're going to have some fun with the M117 G code. What it's doing is it's popping up a little message on your LCD screen on your printer. It's really simple, and I'm going to show you how. All right, you've probably all seen my little messages. Um, I, I used to post the message of the day where I would, you know, put a little message on the LCD screen up on my printer. I'd take a picture of it and post it on the 3D printing group. It's super simple to do, and it's fun. So this is how you do it. And again, it, this is so ridiculously simple. Anybody can do it. All you need is obviously a printer with an LCD screen and a piece of controller software. Now, most of you probably already have some kind of controller software or should have at least some kind of controller software. Now, these can be Repetier. It can be um, Print Run. You can use Simplified 3D, or you can use Octoprint like I do. These will all do the same thing. All right, and this is all you do. It's really very, very simple. You type in M117 and a space, and then whatever text you want. Hello, it's me. And up it pops on your screen. And that's it. I mean, it's literally, that's all you do. You can do it in any of the softwares that control it and have it in some kind of input terminal or whatever. Now, there are a few other things you can do with it that are more than just toys. And one of them is here in um, Octoprint. You can set up G-code scripts. And what these will do is they'll pop up messages up on your screen, on your printer, letting you know what's going on like um right here i have after connection printer is after connection to printer is established i have i'm up let's print this lets me know that my pi is talking to my printer lets me know it's connected again you can do these things for other apps um it's mostly for controllers but you know i'm using the pi in the octoprint which helps a lot uh there's, you know, after print complete, before print starts. Um, there's just a bunch of places you can put them in with Octoprint. Um, you can also do it in, let me get over there, Simplified 3D. When you go into your process, you can go to your scripts. It's funny, they call something G code and they don't have it, really doesn't have a whole lot to do with G code. Um, but in your scripts, you have your starter scripts and your layer change and retraction and ending script. Now, you can add this M117 at the end of anything. Like right here, I have M117 spitting hot plastic. This lets me know the printer's going and everything's connected and, you know, it, the, the print is printing. Even though you can obviously see it, it's, it tells me I've got a good connection. I have, you know, a layer change. You can set a retraction setup, so every time it retracts, you know it, blah, blah, blah. This is a key one, is tool change. Um, you can put the code in here, M117, switch it up. This will pop up, a, you know, if you look at your printer, all of a sudden it pauses, you're like, oh, crap, my, my printer stopped. You look over and it says switch it up or change filament or whatever you want to type in there. Then you know, oh, I got to change my filament. I'm having a, you know, a color change or whatever. And then your ending script... You can add, uh, did I even put one on here? Oh yeah, finished one more time. You can put a custom script in there and just let it know it's all done and what's going on. It's pretty simple, can help. I mean, it's not important, but it's fun. It also gives you a nice intro to using G-Codes because it's so simple and it's so easy to do. It's just M117 and some text. The only restriction is I think there's only 19 or 20 digits across the screen that you can use. Other than that, go give it a shot. It's fun. Take pictures of it. Share it online. Have fun with it.